Good morning, and praise the Lord. It's a great joy to see all of us here and to see us happy to come and worship the Lord. It's also a great joy to receive all of our visitors and especially our OCS. We want to welcome you to this community. This is a warm community. You'll love it. Uh, they are good people, uh, and they invite you to all the occasions uh, and feel part of us and part of this church. In it, in it Sunday, you are not worshiping anywhere. Make this your church. So if you are looking for a church, your search for the church has ended today. Karibu sana. <laughs> and your sins are forgiven. <laughs> Number two is to continue to say that we are working very hard to make sure that our community is healthy. And so we are working very hard for, on our aquatic and wellness center. On Sunday, we started offering uh, something to drink and we uh, doing that every weekend, but as we continue on, we would want to have evenings every time to have a place you can go and take a cup of tea and have to bond with our people. Uh, we already are doing very well with the uh, areas of uh, um, aerobics. Now we are charging something kidogo so that we are able to keep up with the instructor. And our prayer is that many of us join and are be become healthy people. Buona sifiwe. We are doing well with our building here. Uh, my team in the uh, can see them here, are, are working that by the time they finish the last floor and do the roofing, we already have finished plastering all the other floors. That way, is so that by the end of this year, we'll complete this building. Amen. Amen. That's our desire. That's our prayer. They are working very hard, our engineers. And our prayer is that uh, come next year, we all will shift to the topmost floor because our, our, our building has a lift. And then now we uh, work on this church to make it modern. One has a few way. That's our prayer and our desire that next year we're able to go to the topmost floor. And then we work on a few things that you members keep saying, but we are going to do something about it next year. We are also working hard to make sure that our prayer center is operational. We are working with the county government of Machakos for their approval so that we have a place where you can go and have a day or two to seek the Lord and pray. Many of us go quite far seeking for a place we can just have a, day, have a day or two of prayer. And our prayer is that that prayer center will be ministered to the whole body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Finally, is to thank you for your generosity in giving. Our church is doing well. We are excited that the people who are tithing now are more. We are also happy for the growth. Uh, so far, we have very many, many young uh, families coming. No wonder we have many children joining our church school. And these young families are joining our community. So if you are here and you have like a small house in your compound and your children left, don't keep it there uh, having dust. Just rent it to a young person. Amen? That way I get members. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let them come to this community. That way we grow together. And we registered a growth this year of 28%, which is the highest in our presbytery because we have people who are coming. We are also strategizing ourselves very much for the upcoming Northlands Estate. They'll be having very many houses, I think over 5,000 houses coming up. So our, as a session, we are strategizing to make sure that when they come, they find this as a church of choice. Amen. So soon this seat you see empty will be filled up. Hallelujah. We are already grown in a way that we cannot now have one service, all of us here because both services are almost getting becoming equal, and that's our prayer. So please, if you are here and you are still not settled, this is your church. And now to the word of God, let us pray. Dear God, our loving Father, we thank you so much for the journey that you are taking us of daring faith. Our prayer, O oh God, is that you speak to us today. Listen to our cry as we desire to hear your voice. And speak to us in a great way, each one of us, as individuals and even corporately, so that all honor and glory shall be to your holy name. This is our prayer of faith through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We are going on with the journey for those who are visiting us the first day, the journey of four months. We are looking at daring faith, a journey that is helping us to get to a level where we can dare, have a daring faith and therefore dare God in our lives. And for those who are not here when we're introducing this theme, we said that any time you have a daring faith, it is being brave and being able to do that which you would not ordinarily do on normal circumstances. So we are taking our people in a, into a journey 
or being daring people in matters of faith. Many a times I see people uh, daring many things in life, but we pray that the season and the rest of our lives, people who are able to dare God. And we have continued on. And today, we are studying the character of Noah. And we are saying, our, our uh, topic for today is that daring faith is not by sight, but by faith. Can you share you, uh, with your neighbor that theme? That daring faith is not by sight, but by, by faith. The text that was read to us talks about moments when people increased in number. And daughters were born to men. And generally, as men are, they took each, one, each woman that they wanted. Hi, men. <laughs> you know, and they got them on board. And, and, uh, and the inclination of the thoughts of human beings was evil. And God was not happy. Worst of it, even angels or divine, div divine beings came from heaven coming for girls. I think women are very powerful. You know, there's a, already a discussion whether the weaker sex is actually men. <laughs> because if angels can come from heaven coming for women, then there must be something special that women have. Are we together? <laughs> and here, uh, Bible says that even uh, uh, because of that union, there came up great, great men, big men, bigger than me, out of that union. And uh, this time, God was not amused by what people are doing. And the Bible says where we read, he declared he's going to wipe away the whole of creation. Very interesting. However, there is, a one, there is one man called Noah. Bible says God found favor because of this young man, this old man. Amen? Because this man had favor in the eyes of God. Why? He lived a righteous life even when people were immoral, when people are doing other things, when people are corrupt, he lived an upright life. So my dear beloved, as we reflect on not by sight but by faith, I would want us to take through, us through a journey of three points. One of them is that Noah's daring faith made him righteous despite his contemporaries. Meaning that he did not go with what he was seeing other people do. Although everyone was such in, in such immorality, this man stood out. And let me tell us this morning that if immorality gets to a level where angels can come down, that was high level. Until God was annoyed. Until God said, I can sweep these people uh, out of this world and just forget that they were created. And let me say this. I don't know why the two major destructions of people was, happened in this world because of sexual relations. I don't know why God is not amused when people have a challenge with their relationships sexually. I don't know why, maybe I'll ask him. And you can be sure the next one that is coming will be, will be because of LGBTQ+, and I'm a prophet, and I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> if God did that, time of Sodom and Gomorrah, did that at the time of Noah, even now, he is not clapping in heaven when men are marrying men when women are marrying women. He is not clapping in heaven. I'm sure, and God is my friend, he is not happy. Unless he has changed. And he does not change. Are we together? So Noah was upright. He never followed what others were doing. He never followed others in getting girls from all over. He never followed others by corruption. He never followed others by violence. He stood out and said, I can be a man among many other people, but live a righteous life. Because it's not by sight, it is by faith. So I'm calling us this morning to be a unique people in this community. To be a unique people in this country. That when everyone goes the wrong direction, through the faith that is in you, that is daring, you can make a decision that there are things I cannot do. Aisha can hear an amen. If you go to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, they will indeed tell you how evil our people are in immorality. The last time I checked, that the 5% of men have had sexual relations with the people who are not their wives in the last 12 months. This was reported openly in November. 19% of women are having relations with men that are not their husbands. And this is happening 
happened in the last 12 months. So you can imagine the kind of morality we have in our society. You know, once enough uh, for women, 11% of women have multi multiple partners. And unfortunately, the highest is from Mount Kenya, Moranga here. <laughs> where women have Mpango Wakando. <laughs> I don't know why Moranga. Maybe because many men from Moranga prefer staying in Nairobi and going home over the weekend. So who do you, who do you leave your wife with? Hello? <laughs> and many of them do that. I have many friends who do that. Then Kenya National Bureau of Standards says that on average, men have confessed in their lifetime to have had relationships with seven women in their lives. And, men, and women, two partners. Hallelujah, women. You are better off. But men are worse. So this tells us that immorality is on the higher, is, 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 is skyrocketing. And so if God was to judge us, he would. However, we are looking at a people who, although there are beautiful women around, although they are handsome men with lots of money, someone can stand and say, it is not what I see. It is the conviction I have through faith. Amen. So you want to see Couples who are upright. You want to see people who cannot revenge. Just because your husband goes out, you don't go the other side. Just because you have people around you who are immoral, you don't take that direction. And by the way, the presence of women and men in your life is not a license for you to be immoral. You can't say amen to that. It's not a license. So therefore, we are looking at, a, at, at an exhortation of our people to live morally upright lives. Aisha can hear amen. Men who can declare that they can never open this belt to anyone else apart from their wives. Men say, so many amen. <laughs> it's important. Making a resolution. <laughs> Women also the same. They're making a decision that there are things you cannot do. And I'm calling you to a daring faith where you can tell someone, shut up, shame on you. Go home to your wife. I want to hear that from women telling men and men telling women. I am married man. And if I'm not married, I am single but contented. It's not a license because I'm single, I can go all over. No, 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 no. God is not amused. Number two. God calls Noah because this gentleman believed in the things that were not seen. Imagine... There is no mention of rains in the whole of the Old Testament until chapter 6 of the book of Genesis. Meaning that there may not have been rains before. It's, I am not sure, but there is no mention of rains. This is the only day when it rained kutoka binguni na kutoka ukuchini. Because water was coming from down and up. <laughs> so imagine if today you are told, do something, otherwise there will be raining gold. How many of us here will believe? Because it has never rained gold. So imagine this man believed God even with the unseen things, things he had never seen in his life. And I'm calling us to have faith that no, like Noah, who was asked to build the ark. And this man, in holy fear, Hebrew says, he built an ark. And by the way, do you know what? <laughs> this ark was not done overnight. It took between 75 to 100 years to build an ark. You know, some of us think it was overnight. No! No wonder Janet here is praying for people to take ma Maisha pole pole. <laughs> you are not born today and tomorrow you become wealthy. You are not born today and tomorrow you walk. It took time. But this man would see the unseen. Ay, 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 yeah. This life does not constitute of the things that you see. There are many things that are unseen that are hidden for us. Aisha can hear an amen. And this gentleman followed on. He followed God, even when what he was told has not been heard. Because he was not a man who went by sight, he went by faith. He believed in God. And let me tell us, all of us this morning, that I don't know what you are believing God for. But some of us could be believing God for things we have never seen or even heard. And God is able to do them because he believes that once you have trusted him, he will do it in our lives. Aisha can hear an amen. My prayer for us is that don't go by what you see. Because what you see can be deceiving. Look at what is beyond what you can see. This man stood firm. Sometimes I imagine how he even collected animals. I don't know. 
it's only in Kenya when you have an animal orphanage, but those animals are actually orphaned. And that's why they are, they, are, they are caught into that animal orphanage. The other animals are at large, whether the Savo, or the Masai Mara, or the Samburu, and whatever it is. Meaning that gathering animals two by two, it took time. Those are things that were unheard of. This man did it because one person said it, it has been done. And God said it. As long as God has said it, it will happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number three. The third thing I want us to learn from this gentleman called Noah is that by his daring faith, he was able to wait on God. Rain came for 40 days and 40 nights. It's not easy. Sisi napika kerele hapa, watu wa sukari, ikinyesha mfurulizo. Especially those who live below, uh, below sixth, <laughs> on which, whichever side. Because water flows those, those areas on fifth street, mostly sixth and fifth. We always complain. Hii hata naidopi hapa kukinyesha, watu wa piga kerele. Mengide wana, 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 hata kukinyesha wa kalikit. Ito wa kalikit. Ito wa lini hii nywele enyu kina mama. Whatever it is. Because you have to go for a retouch. Ito wa retouch. You know those kind of things. And we complain a lot. 40 days and 40 nights mfurulizo. Day and? And this man waited for it to rain. Oh, how I pray that we have a generation that through faith can wait on God. That it flooded for 150 days. After it rained for 40 days and night, again another 100 and? So you can imagine someone waiting, kuriacha kunyesha, lakini mvua haishi. Maji bado iko, until he would keep sending ravens to check whether the place is dry. And he waited. How many of us can wait on the Lord through faith on what he has promised? Whatever time he will bring it, I'll wait on it. As we read the book of Hebrews 11, Bible even says, some waited and never received. Oh, Many of the blessings you wait for maybe will, become, will come to your children. That's why some of your children are doing very well out of the, this country. Some of your children are doing very well in their families. Why? There are things you have prayed for. Although you, you may have a, a frustrated marriage. Hello? God just works it out that your children have good marriages. Aisha can hear an amen. <laughs> so therefore, waiting, waiting. This business of people thinking that God is a magic worker. Abracadabra. That if I give you a thousand, you talk about two thousand. <laughs> that indeed is not is, is not godliness. That is magic. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Why are we having our people? Person like me just getting employed by PCA. I'm now I think doing my thirteenth year, and by thirteenth year, I'm already having wealth that is not equivalent to my salary. <laughs> it's because I took some shortcuts. I don't wait upon God to bless the work of our hands my hands. And you want to rush to get favors. You want to rush to get helped. God is inviting us to wait on him. By the way, this world is not about what you have in your pocket or what you have in resources. It's about godliness. God never called us to affluence. God called us to faithfulness. I know there's no amen to that. It doesn't look prosperity. So we want to see people who can wait. Can wait on God. And that waiting is faith in itself. Amen. amen. Why? It is not by sight. It is by faith. Amen. I want to end by saying this. Noah waited on God even though whatever he was told was unimaginable. So some of us here, God would speak to you about things that you don't imagine. Can you imagine you who has stolen someone's husband and God tells you to walk out? One thing, utakula nini? Number two, utaishi wapi? Number three, utapata pesa wapi? The question is, kwa ni sisi tunapatanga wapi? Hello? Hello? <laughs> yes? There are women here who are faithful who struggle to educate their children, and their children are educated, and they go with flying colors, even without getting any help from a, an, an evil person. So God will tell you things that are not very, very courteous. When God tells you, stop that deal. You know, this country is a country of deals. 
People meet over beer, over a cup of tea, and deals are made. And God can tell you, walk away from this deal. How many of us here have faith to say, this deal is evil. I wait on God to give me a clean deal. Ama ni kusema wacha ni chukue tu, si ni kutubu tu. Pisiye ni ukija pare kabla ya Holy Communion, unatubu tu. Abana, faith means that you can turn down deals because you have faith in God who is sovereign. Haya, ya, ya. Amen. Women who are here who are waiting to get married, God is able to give you a husband. By the way, read very well our statistics in this country. You know, let me tell you, the difference between men and women in this country is negligible. It's just because our politicians lie to us that we have more women so they can be polygamous. Hello? If all of us married, it's possible to have every other woman in this country have a, have a husband. So many amen. <laughs> One husband. It's possible. It's possible. If we are able to nurture the men who are struggling, men who are taking drugs, men who are lost, if they can be nurtured by women, especially mothers who are here, nurture your son to get and throw them out to get married. Na kishidwa murete bibi. Amen? Na kishidwa uniambie mimi. I have very many girls that I pray for to get married. Many. I can bring them very nice women. women. Amen? Why? Because God can tell you things <laughs> that are unimaginable, but you have to do them. That is what faith is all about. This faith you declared here in the words of the Apostles' Creed is that faith which is daring. Are we together? So God is calling all of us this morning. Like Noah, to be different. Like Noah, to be unique. Like Noah, to follow that which God is instructing us. Someone finished. Let us pray. Dear God, our loving Father, when you are meant to destroy the whole world through water, you saw one man, Noah, who you saved and his family. Father God Almighty, look at us with mercy. Look at us with mercy, O oh God. That in us you can find, we can find favor before your eyes. Give us faith, O oh Lord, to live a unique life, a separated life, a life of holiness. That God you bless our families. That God you bless our finances. That God you bless our, even our health. That God you bless the work of our hands. So Lord, I pray for those who are here and are losing their faith because of sight that you give them a daring faith to trust in you. Thank you that you have had our prayer, which you have prayed in Jesus' name.